Hi, this is Sean McGill from PDA247, and with me today I have an HTC S740. Now, this device is probably going to be released this week, first week of November, and here we have a test model, hence the white box. In the box itself you get, of course, the S740, standard HTC headphones and microphone, HTC power pack which attaches via this cable by USB to a mini USB port on the 740 itself. Obviously within the box itself you are purely getting the option to either power the phone or to connect it to your PC. Whilst it is connected though it can obviously be charged at the same time so it may be that you rarely use such an option. You also get a case which is a strange mesh material. I think it's more designed to purely cover the phone rather than actually protect it. Considering how stylish the phone is, the case is a bit of an oddity to me. But let's look at the phone itself. If we're talking about oddities, this is very unusual for any mobile phone, let alone a smartphone. With smartphones we're used to, and this is an extreme example, we're used to fat phones that are quite thin, not thin phones that are quite fat. The BlackBerry Bold is a fat device anyway, but the uh, 740 takes it to a slightly new level. It's a full 16 millimeters thick, and it feels very chunky in the hand. It somewhat reminds me of uh, the standard mobile phones from many years back. Now, it is still small, there's no denying that, and it, it does resemble a standard mobile more than most smartphones do today. You've got an extremely bright screen, which as you can see, more than matches up to the bold. And it's actually a surprisingly large screen. It's great in sunlight, which is what you'd expect because it's not a touch screen device. It's running Windows Mobile Standard. And because it's running Windows Mobile Standard, everything you choose to do is super quick. I'm a bit of a fan of... Uh, this version of Windows Mobile because it strips out a lot of the complexity of the professional system and it, on the whole it works extremely well. The the keypad again very shiny I'm surprised it is it is a bit of a fingerprint magnet but it's not horrendous. You've got your home key, your back key, your two soft keys which you need in standard and some very small call start and end keys which is unusual. They are slightly pronounced so that does help. On this side you've got your camera button it's a fixed focus 3.2 megapixels and on this side two volume keys. A rather large on off button on the top and finally the micro USB port on the bottom for synchronizing, charging and for headphones. The reason it's thick is because of this keyboard here. In what I've tried so far, and I've only been playing with it for a few minutes, this keyboard is actually quite nice. In a, in a few tests I've, I, I would put it as slightly better than the Xperia X1 and it's, it feels very very wide in the hand and you can although the keys are rather flat everything's where it should be and I, I get the impression that within a short space of time I'll be uh, typing away quite quickly so that's just a very quick uh, overview of the S740 obviously I'll do a full review on PDA247 but first impressions are more than positive. It is very unusual and it's very much a love or hate it device but I, I, I'm certainly verging on the love side. It's, it's, it's got, it, there's definitely something there. I can't quite tell at the moment if HTC is completely bonkers in making this phone or if it's a stroke of genius but time will tell over the next few days. 
This phone should be available from www.clove.co.uk in the next few days. Thank you very much.